Okay, we're gonna make the sauce, and it's really easy to make. I have my pan. What I did was I went ahead and I emptied out all the um, oil that was in there. I have a little bit of oil residue in there, and it's okay. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more oil to that. Okay, and just put a little bit of canola oil just to kind of cover it up. And then we have our broth here from the chicken. We have the um, bell peppers, um, all organic, and the um, Onion. onions. Yeah, and we have some garlic, garlic and we have uh, the carrots, and we have even a little bit of minced jalapeno, salt and pepper, cumin, and we have pasilla pepper, which has already been... Um, processed and it's dry and the California chili pepper and then I have a little bit of um, the um, paste tomato paste and some tomatoes so that's going to make a really nice sauce for the for the chili rellenos and so we're going to start off by okay we got this heated up okay ah, heat up baby and so you want to go ahead and just throw all of those all those together yep just go ahead and put them in there not hard at all. Really easy. Easy peasy. This is California style. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to take this little spatula and I'm going to let you do it. Since I am teaching you how to make chili rellenos, when you go back home, you can make them and invite all your friends, and they're gonna, they're gonna freaking love you. They're gonna love you. My boyfriend's gonna love me. Yeah, you're definitely what? Your boyfriend? <laughs> so we've been wanting to do this cooking stuff, so I think this will be good. And you just kind of let it. Yeah. I like to steer things, but you, can do you like know what? A little bit. I'm going to add a little salt, a big pinch of salt and pepper in there. Because that's going to make the, um, it's going to make the, um, onions come wilted a little bit more. It's going to, you remember in culinary class? In culinary class, they taught us when you put salt, what does salt do? Salt extracts the liquid. Yeah. Makes the liquid come out of the onion. Onion. Okay. It flavors it. There's five things what a salt does. Do you remember they, all the five things? No, the they just told me to quit staring all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. The salt, it extracts the fluid. It flavors. It binds the flavors. It it does five things. We 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 don't <laughs> we don't remember. <laughs> but our food is great. But yeah, it we is so salt. It's it. We don't need it. It does whatever. But can you imagine that salt? What it does to your body? So be very careful. Drink a lot of water. Or margaritas, margaritas, mimosas. We're having mimosas. Actually, I'm having straight champagne. <laughs> can I stir now? Yeah, go ahead. Isn't that beautiful? So, ah, it just smells so good. Someone said I smell like celery. No. Yeah, I don't have celery in that, but you can put celery in there if you like. It's okay to put the celery in there. We'll if I do one of these. This is a really nice Mediterranean flavor. I know. I know. And so, okay. So our, our beans are done. They have to be done by now. You know what? Look at that. Beautiful. These are, oh, you can eat them whole or you can refry them. I think we should eat them whole. I think those are beautiful. Look at that. I had them raw. They were really good ones. Oh, well, I think raw would be good. Uh, we took all the toxins out of those beans. Uh, oh, there goes the bay leaf. Out of there. So we took all the toxins out of the beans because why we why <laughs> because we soak those rascals. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we're 
picking this up right here. We're just sauteing it and making sure that it's all yum yum, delicious. Yeah, y'all mugs. And I want y'all mugs. And then you know what? Go ahead and put some uh, a, a big pinch of Camino in there. We're gonna do it Indian style. This is what um, this is the technique that Indians use. The Camino. You don't like the Camino? Too bad. It's delicious. <laughs> and then go ahead and put like that's a good tablespoon. How much is that? Probably about um, a good heaping tablespoon and a couple of cheese. All of it in? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put it. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh man. All of it? All of it. Holy cow. Go ahead and stop saying that. It's going to be really beautiful. Oh, nice. You smell that? Mmm. Go ahead and put your tomato paste. It's about a good couple of ounces of tomato paste and about four ounces of cubed tomato. And then pour in, go ahead and pour in that, um, yeah. oh, that's pretty, yeah, make sure that's all in there, yum, 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 that's beautiful, now why would they keep, tell you to stop stirring, oh my god, because I stir too much, ah, I think that's wonderful to stir, all of it in? Yeah, and that's about a good, what, four cups of broth. Look at that. Look yeah, how beautiful that is. I love it. Ooh, you can use a whisk if you want. I could. But I like, so you want to try it? I like stirring with the spoon. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Taste it. See what it means. It's not cooked yet, so you you want to get the basis of the salt and pepper. Uh -huh. The flavors are there. Just a little salt, huh? Basically, you want to get, uh, you want to heat it up faster. Okay, it's coming. Okay. I just want to bite some of those. Uh, she can't wait to get the hollow. She can't wait to get the rellenos in there. Can so I, we're going to bring this to a boil. It? No. No, oh, honey, you're going to ruin it. We got to make tortillas, remember? She wants to make tortillas, so we're going to make tortillas. So you clean up while you are cooking. Yay! And then plus, she wants to make Spanish rice, so we're going to make some Spanish rice. And I basically use the same ingredients as Spanish rice as I do anything else. So Spanish cooking, Mexican cooking, whatever. No worries. Huh? Tortillas? What? Right now? Oh, yeah. We can make them right now after our shot. <laughs> okay, so this is coming to a nice little boil. You want to try the beans? Oh, those beans. Look at those beautiful beans. Let's get the... You know who taught me how to do this? Chris. Chris Navarrete. He's the one that was telling me that I need to put bay leaves in the... I need to put bay leaves. And his mother, is, his mother is German. Go figure. He's a tall, blonde guy. Yeah. Be nice. Frick. Frick. No, he wasn't the tall, blonde guy. He was a tall, salt and pepper. It's beautiful beans. I can't wait to try them. Yeah, he was a tall um, salt and pepper guy. 
and he was nice with his you know. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I will kick your butt. <laughs> Ooh. Now get a bean. You should get, get a bean? bean. Mm hmm Yeah. Try that. Bean. Mm. Yummy. Delicious. It's got a little bit of sweetness in it, huh? Yep. And these are delicious. Let's get that. Beautiful Trinity Mirepoix in there. Yay, yay, yay. I, I love it. It's like talk about bringing um, a New Orleans cuisine with Mexican cuisine. I just Mediterranean. <laughs> All in one. Okay, this is ready to go, sweetie. Okay, now what? Alright. Put the tulip in there. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That's freaking delicious. Try that. That's delicious. Once it starts cooking. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. So you just lay your chilidianos in there. Oh, that one's kind of, okay. Let's kind of cover that one up. And then we just kind of, and then you just let them simmer on a low heat for about 30 minutes. And then they're ready to go. In the meantime, we're going to make our tortillas. This is going to be a nice, and then our Spanish rice. Okay. Just let them sit. They'll, they'll go, they'll deflate. You don't want all those veggies on top because what happens is they're not going to cook. Can I just, like, push them? Yeah, but take the veggies off of the top. I, I, I am. Okay, there you go. A liquid can be on top? Yeah, let them, because they're going to simmer. They're going to simmer like this. And they're going to be delicious. Okay. All right. And you just cover it. Lower the heat. And let them cook for about a good 30 minutes. And then we'll be back to let you know the results. All right.